You're right, guys. It's Ken from Militia War Gaming Warriors, and today we're going to try and paint the uh, early war uh, Fulcrum Jaeger uh, in contrast paints. Um, I'm going to try and aim to get this done probably within 15 to 20 minutes, and that's painted and based. Uh, so let's see how we get on. So first paint I'm going to use is a black Templar, one of my favourite uh, contrast paints, and this is going to be for the boots. First video of uh, the new year. Hope everyone had a good time. Quite a few people have been asking me for this one. Um, got obviously the later war, uh, Fulcrum Jaeger. Uh, but people have been asking me for the early war, like European slash, uh, you know, Crete sort of style stuff where uh, jump smocks weren't camouflaged. So. I thought I would uh, give you a New Year's little treat, but um, that's that. Let's put that to one side. Um, so next color we're going to be using is Creed Camo, okay, and this is going to be for the trousers. So this is like a darker green to what the actual smock itself is. Smocks like a lighter green. If you've noticed, I've gone in with a bit of a darker prime at this time with a grey. Um, this is because I've used my airbrush. I've used their MIG um, grey airbrush uh, primer this time instead of the standard grey games workshop stuff. Um, I did think that sometimes for historical purposes. You know, the, um, some of these were quite quite bright and poppy, um, but some people quite like that. I, I quite like it to be fair. But I just wanted to see what it's like. My first model painting with uh, painting with an airbrush primer. Seeing what, see, seeing if it's any if it's any good. Let's just make sure we get all that green. Yep. So that's the. Trousers done. So that's the dark green. Now, lighter green. I'm gonna go for Minotaurum green. Um, Minotaurum green, sorry. This is a lighter green. So this is basically I'm gonna try and cover the whole smock in this colour. Needs to be. It's, it's paler than the darker green. Um, with all the reference pictures I've seen. I'm just going to try and be a bit careful because you've got a choice here. You can either go crazy, paint the whole thing, uh, but then you'll have to wait for it to dry and um, paint the webbing straps. Depending on how neat I can actually get it to be, I might get away with letting it partially dry and paint the webbing straps on that. I know a lot of people are enjoying these uh, contrast videos, which is nice to see. That's why I've got many more to come. I'm gonna start doing like some historical ones, like uh, Romans and bits and bobs, maybe, just to give it a go, see what it's like, and maybe actually use them for what they were intended for, which is. Uh, the King's Workshop stuff at some point. Um, this guy's a little bit finicky because um, I'm just being careful. Some of them you can be really like sparing with and just whack the paint on sort of thing. But I've got to try and be a bit careful around this guy. So I've got to watch the, uh, the webbing straps. Be very careful here around the collar. But again, anything you do mess up, I could just go in with a grey. 
and just redo it like that bit there. It's not too bad because I'm covering black. But you just want to make sure you you take your time. And you're happy with your, your finish. So I think that's going to dry quite nice and dark, which is good. Because uh, that's the sort of effect I'm going to be going for. Right. That's the green. Let's uh, do the helmet. So I'm going to be using Space Wolves Grey for this. Just the line in a blue grey with the Luftwaffe colours. And again, personal preference with this, it might dry just dark enough. Um, but you don't, with helmets, I found with contrast paint, you don't want to let it pull too much. So leave that on there. Might need to do a second coat with that. Might not, depends. Um, so there's that. Right, so next colour is going to be Gillum and Flesh. And again, I always use Gillum and Flesh for my Western, like European. Skin tones. Just trying to be neat here because I don't want too much to spill on the rifle. It's not too much of a drama, but it's enough. Should we get all the skin? Don't matter too much about the hair because we're going in a minute and sort that out. But we just want to make sure we get all the skin. Like so. Okay. Alright, so while that's all being sorted out, we'll have a go at tackling some of the back stuff here. Um, and the first one I'm going to go with is Agros Dunes. Just gonna put that on the, the bread bag. I'm just using the colours that I like. So that's on the bread bag. I'm gonna do that on the bread the bed roll as well. Bedroll. Then I'm going to go with a set of grey to um, go with the gas mask canister just here. going to be the bottom half of the war ball. It's quite a dark colour so it covers pretty well. You don't need a lot of it. That'll dry in there quite nicely.
Right. Now, I'm going to use some black Templar now. Just on the top of the water bottle. And the thing with contrast is it always looks messy till it's dry. Found out the most with using it. Right. So I'm going to try and do webbing straps. This is like the most neat I'm having to be. Quick enough with the contrast stuff, you can just like that cover it up. Okay, getting there. Just going to do some agros tunes on the front there. places for skeleton horde really one is just round on the helmet on the strap on the helmet there's that and you've also got on the rifle sure to get both sides and now we're going to want a snake bite lever and this is just to cover the rifle this is just how I do my rifles Bolt action, just cover the whole thing. Snake bite lever. And once that's dry, I'll just go over a bit with a Basilica Grow Black Templar over the metal parts. Didn't take too long but that's the model based so that's done in like I don't know 15 20 minutes at most I think so 
not not base, sorry, painted. All right. So while that's all drying, what we can do, the boot's pretty much dry, we can base the model. So put some of Luke APS's uh, PVA in there. Get a get a paintbrush, and then just start working it around the base. Try not to do what I just did. And that is put PVA glue on the model itself. If you do do that, just do what I'm doing now. Just to work it off. literally a case of that work it around happy days I've got some of his basically a dip just give it a little pat like that And it's based. Looks like a base there. Put that back on there. That's pretty much the whole model done. You can, like I say, I've, I've got a bit of glue on there. It's not really that much of a drama. I can just pick off those little bits. And um, once it's dry, I'm brushing away like this. Get a cotton bud in there. Because it happens. There you go, brushed it away there. Also a little bit there. It happens, nothing's perfect, you know. But yeah, pretty much that's that's done. Um, I'm just gonna go in and do a little bit of neatening up work. You could use that on the table at the minute. I've just got, like I say, I'm gonna wait for this to dry. And then I'm gonna uh, paint over the metal part. So I'll see you in a second. Right, so model's finally done. I've just gone in, just neaten up, literally put the uh, black and the rifles there. Uh, I'll just tidy up a bit at the back here with uh, some of the webbing straps. Uh, but that's pretty much it, that's all I've done. Um, it, it looks alright, looks fine. I can't see uh, can't see it being an issue. Um, colours are not perfect, uh, but you're going to be limited when you've got only got like 30 paints to choose from. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's decent tabletop standard. Uh, early war Germans, Um I hope you guys have all enjoyed it, and uh, we shall see you again very soon. Thanks for watching.